What guarantee have you got that that independent Scotland would be allowed into the EU? And perhaps more importantly, how could that independent Scotland, without a currency, without a bank, conceivably comply with the convergence terms required of all new members to have a deficit of 3% or less, when our deficit is almost five times that. That's why, that's why I don't think it makes sense to leave the, U, the UK uh, uh, with um, you know, reluctance. I probably would stay in the UK, but the point I'm making is exactly the same argument that you're making against staying in the EU is made by the Scottish nationalists. Well, uh, well, why am I making it then? <laughs> why, why was Mr Ben making it? Why was Bob Crow making it? Why was Arthur Scargill making it? Why was Michael McGahey making it? Why was the Morning Star making it? Why was the British Communist Party making it? Why were we all doing that? Are we idiots, Kenneth? No, 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 no. I think it's because you saw that the rules of the European Union, especially things like supporting your own in industry, and I've got, I, I disagree with those, um, Oh, this is another thing. Another, another thing. If only they didn't have these rules uh, no, precluding policy, public... Uh, that's it's not... The it's in the constitution the, of the yeah, organisation. A constitution <laughs> that cannot be changed. Anyway... No, it can. The EU constitution was changed many times. That's no, why, it, it that's cannot why be changed is. except by the agreement of the very people who put it there in the first place, it cannot be changed except by a unanimous decision of, well, in this case, 28 countries would have well, to simultaneously want to abolish neoliberal capitalism, all of them, at once. I keep well, telling you, Kenneth, if my auntie had a pair of balls like that, well, she sure would be my well, uncle. It's been wonderful disagreeing with you.